Hi there and welcome to this week's golf equipment q and I'm Valerie Melvin, I'm here with Frank Thomas and we're in the Frankly Frog putting studio in Orlando, Florida where it's our mission to help you improve your putting. Now Frank, a few weeks ago we spoke about drawing a line on the ball to help with alignment and you didn't recommend that. Fine. Right. Now Art, hi Art. Um, had a question. He um, had read. He'd you know used a company's product or whatever where it's he basically spun the ball to find the balance point, put a dot on it, then drew a line. Do you think that is kind of more valid? Um, art, uh, as you know, I, I don't recommend uh, putting a line on the golf ball because. Um, there's some pros that are on, on the tour who do it very successfully but also we've also found some pros uh, who, who get a little confused when there's, a, when there's a line on the golf ball and they line it up uh, exactly where they want it to go and then get over right on top of it and there's, uh, they're not sure they inst instinctively know that it should go a little further right or left this conflict and when, you, when you're about to putt you don't need any conflict now with regard to the spinning of the golf ball uh, you know, 20, 30 years ago, when golf balls were were uh, out of balance, then that would as a good method of of, of uh, finding the balance point. And basically, what you're trying to do is put a dot on the ball, and that dot is directly above the mass center and the and the geometric center, so the ball balances. But there's a lot of easier way of doing it. Huh. Yeah, just just get a salt solution, enough salt for the ball just to float, spin them around. And, and when it when it's, uh, comes to rest, put, a, put a, a dot on top of the ball and then spin it again. And if the same dot comes up, then mark it permanently, put that dot on the ball and then just use that dot to, 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 as, as the balance point. And just keep that dot on top of the ball. That's, that's all you really need to do. Keep that, that dot on top of the ball. But don't draw a line through it. Just keep that dot. And, and then if the ball was out of balance, then, then the ball will have a true roll that way. But not many golf balls are out of balance nowadays, are they? Not Frank? anymore. No, the premium golf balls are very good, and and, and so uh, the odds that that you're going to have to go through this process is uh, not a, not uh, you know not a, no, you won't have to do it very often. Okay. Well, thanks for that, Frank. Interesting as ever. Thank you, Art, for the question. Keep them coming, and um, we'll be back in touch next week. But until then, may the frog be with you. <laughs> Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. Find your frog at franklyfrog.com. Ribbit.